Lightyear's recent backlash demonstrates why pride is so important. In the upcoming Pixar film, a kiss between Alicia and her wife was almost removed during production. Luckily, the Pixar staff spoke up and the scene was put back in. Already, this movie is getting banned in multiple countries. So today, I want to talk about the importance of LGBT representation in mainstream media. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like and sub button so you always see my latest content. Toy Story is an important cultural piece that made us re-examine our relationship with our figurines and plushies growing up. These aren't just dispensable objects, they mean a lot to us. Pixar and Toy Story have always spread a message of love. The love a child has for their favorite toy, or the love that's shared when we pass on our hero to someone else. As the franchise evolves, so do the themes. Let's start back in the 90s. The story starts off simple. Andy plays with Buzz, Woody, and the crew. They go on all kinds of wacky adventures that eventually turn them into a family. At the end of the movie, Andy passes on his world. Normally, a series would stop here, but Pixar wasn't done yet. The fourth movie, which is my personal favorite, gets existential. What should a toy do when they have the freedom to choose? While the overarching message might change, Toy Story's central idea of love remains true. Forky is supposed to be an annoying, hateable character. We want him gone as audience members. Although Woody leads with love, just like in the first film. Flash forward to the modern day and Pixar is still going. We are introduced to an all new cast of characters. Alicia is Lightyear's commander and close friend. In the movie, she exchanges a kiss with her wife and people are not happy. But isn't this in line with Pixar's original messaging? Toy Story was about accepting anyone, no matter what. As long as a toy makes a kid happy, who cares about the superfluous details? Woody is underrated as a character in terms of what he represents. Everyone loves him as an icon, but his values are what make him shine. At his core, he tries to extend empathy and kindness to even the most villainous toys. Woody is the physical embodiment of love and understanding. He helps literal trash find a sense of purpose. Unfortunately, the inclusion of this scene was met with fierce backlash. Disney almost cut the kiss until Pixar staff spoke up. What might seem like a small gesture makes a world of difference to those exploring their sexuality or gender. This interaction speaks volumes about why we need to celebrate pride. LGBT members face heavy discrimination in society that is multifaceted, from structural barriers to a lack of meaningful representation in media. Spreading awareness of the existence of gay people in mainstream culture is crucial. Everyone needs a character who they can resonate with, someone we can use as a frame of reference to build our values. Alicia might be this person for a lot of people who see Lightyear, a source of inspiration in times of adversity. Also in the context of the film, being gay doesn't seem like that big of a deal. From the looks of the trailer, the universe is at stake. Giving your wife a kiss isn't going to change anything meaningful in the grand scheme of things. So why was Disney ready to gut this important part of Alicia's character? Internationally, animation sells big time, but acceptance of gay people varies widely. China, for example, turns out a huge profit for Disney, but LGBT members face hardcore discrimination. As a corporation, valuing profits seems like the logical decision. Although, this greatly impacts the art we consume. Many marginalized communities feel abandoned in mainstream culture. We get our flags flown by all these companies one month a year, and then they get tossed back into the closet. Although to be fair, many businesses go out of their way to help marginalized communities. Pixar used its creative power to collectivize against Disney's profit-seeking behaviors. Pride is important because we still have a long way to go in terms of social progress. So the last question we need to answer is what can we do as the consumer? We should speak with our dollars. When Pixar, Disney, or any other studio includes a character that's meaningful to you, advocate for them. Media is one of the most powerful tools we have to enact this change. Many children are afraid to explore their sexuality or gender given the current political climate. Pixar and Disney mean so much to all of us around the world. Using their platform to spread awareness to the youth is a power that can reach to infinity and beyond. Thanks for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. What Disney or Pixar character means a lot to you. What do you think we can do as audience members to create more representation in media? I'd love to hear from you.